Ready to go? Uh-huh. Okay. All right, see you later. Yeah, bye. bye. Nice bye. to meet you. Yeah. You want me to talk you through this? If you would like. Well, all right. Well, what I'm trying to do here is to center the clay. That's the first step. I'm trying to cover as much of the surface area of the clay as I can with my hands and also adhere the piece to the back, which is this plastic thing that I'm throwing on. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna cone it up. And I'm going to push it back down and it should be nicely in the center. Okay, get it my back. Now I'm gonna create a little well in the center by pushing with my thumb and the sponge. And I've got my fingers on the outside edge to guide me and make sure I get everything in the center. Okay, so now I've made the, the floor, the base, the inside of the cup. Now I'm going to squeeze it in because I want it to be a sort of a cylinder. And this is just growing too wide. So I've got it squeezed. Now I'm going to take my two fingers and my thumb and have my sponge loaded with some water. So I can drip water on it as I pull up and I'm going to just squeeze and start at the bottom and pull up not as thin as I want it to be I'll pull probably two or three times till I get it ex the way I want it to be but I'm going to start again and go back up with it these are small so two probably is going to be enough I'm going to take this tool and clean up the bottom just a little bit up the bat and I'm going to make sure that I've got enough water on the outside and I'm going to take this tool which is a rib it's a flexible rib and I'm going to put it on the outside of the pot while pressing from the inside up against it because I'm going to try to get rid of these throwing rings because I'm going to end up carving a design on it after it's after it's leather hard and I don't want those rings on there sometimes you might want to leave them for a decoration but in this case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take them off. This flexible one is good because I can round the, uh, the surface of the clay and make it sort of a wine tumbler or a teacup. Okay. Now, now I've collected water inside the cup. So I'm going to use my sponge, I squeezed it out my sponge to get the water out otherwise it would create a crack as it's drying at the bottom and I'm going to just sort of compress the rim a little bit I use this part of my hand right here to make a smooth uh, rim to make it nice to drink out of and then I sort of just dry off the edge the outer side of it the outside of the edge This is a cutting wire. I get, a get it nice and taut. And I just pull it through. And I go from the bottom very gently and place it on my wear board. If it was a larger piece, 